everyone uh, in this video we will discuss uh, the fracture classification or, uh, in pelvis so there are two basically fracture classification around pelvis and one is young and burgis which is shown here and uh, other one is tiles so young and uh, burgis is classified on the basis of um, mechanism of uh, injury so it is divided into lateral compression if the force if the mechanism mechanism of uh, injury is uh, lateral compression so it, it is further divided into three types and if the uh, mechanism of injury is anteroposterior compression and it is uh, also further divided into three types and third one is vertical shear so uh, let's see one by one uh, in lateral compression, uh, type 1, uh, just imagine a force that is compressing, uh, compressing the pelvis from uh, lateral side. So the pelvic uh, uh, superior and inferior pelvic remi fracture will be uh, there and they uh, associate with the sacral LR fracture somewhere here. And uh, in type 2, there is a crescent fracture. It means uh, the <clears throat> superior and inferior pubic uh, rami fracture, uh, along with the ileal uh, iliac uh, wing fracture that is uh, going into the uh, sacroiliac joint. And uh, lateral compression type uh, three, either it is else uh, lateral compression one or two associated with contralateral open book injury. And uh, in anterior posterior, uh, if the force of injury is uh, from anterior posterior and it is compressing uh, the pelvis, then in type 1, it is slight opening of uh, pubic symphysis, uh, that is pubic diastasis, and slight anterior opening of the uh, sacroiliac joint. joint. Uh, in the uh, type 2 of uh, anterior posterior kind of a fracture in the young and burgis there is uh, there is opening of the uh, pubic symphysis and along with the anterior opening of sacroiliac joint and in type 3 there is complete disruption of sacroiliac joint uh, it means the posterior sacroiliac ligaments are also torn and the uh, pubic diastasis. In third type of uh, injury, it is vertical shear, that uh, pubic diastasis along with the vertical displacement of hemipelvis. And fourth one is combined, combined injury. So it is a com uh, it also uh, it is the complex fracture of pelvis with the uh, above mentioned. Uh, combination of above mentioned uh, mechanism of injury. So this was Young and Burgis, and now we will see the tiles classification. Tiles is a uh, tiles classification is all about uh, this. Uh, it is uh, divided into tile A, B, C according to the stability so tile a uh, the pelvis is vertically and rotationally stable so in type a1, a1 fracture the fracture in the uh, pelvis the that uh, does not include uh, the pelvic ring and in a2 stable fracture uh, with minimal displacement and in a3 the transverse fracture of the sacrum or coccyx. Uh, in tile A type uh, kind of uh, fracture, the pelvis is vertically and rotationally stable. In type B, uh, B1 is open book injury and uh, B2 is uh, lateral compression injury, ipsilateral side and B3 is 
um, bilaterally rotational instability in uh, type b uh, of tiles classification the pelvis is vertically stable but rotationally unstable and in type c the pelvis is neither vertically stable or neither nor uh, rotationally stable so it is divided in c1 c2 and c3 uh, c1 is unilateral uh, uh, pelvis uh, fracture which is rotationally and vertically unstable c2 is bilateral one side is rotationally unstable and one side is vertically unstable and c3 is bilateral vertically unstable 